Today we're visiting with Shelly in Cactus Nursery in Arizona. Hi Shelly. Hi Gail. We're going to be giving you some plant tips on gardening and we're going to talk about planting first. Can you give us some plants on the saguaros? We have this very nice saguaro here. Um, well, this is actually a cardone, which is called the Mexican Blue Saguaro. Um, they're uh, very drought tolerant plants. They don't require a whole lot of water. Uh, the planting tips would be, um, we usually, when we're transplanting a saguaro, we will, um, we will use powdered sulfur on the roots and in the hole that you dig. Um, the root system isn't too big, so um, your hole has to be about three, four feet deep. And then um, you just tamp it down real nice. This plant will only need water when uh, the really hot weather comes around. But otherwise, saguaros are meant to survive with the rainfall. Do you, when you plant it, is there any specific direction you would plant the plant in? Oh, would yes. Just stick it in the ground or? No. Um, the saguaros, specifically the saguaros, and also with the golden barrels and any barrel cactus, they need to be planted north where they are facing north. Um, they have a tender side to them and a side that is conditioned to the sun. So if you were to turn them around, then um, they would burn. Okay. Now, when you fertilize the cactus, whether you're using a granular uh, fertilizer or a liquid fertilizer, in addition to your shake and grow, how often do you do it? Um, well, you can do it a couple of times a year. Uh, the thing to remember is to do it du during the cooler weather. Um, why you want to avoid the hot weather is that it's already hot. The ground is hot, the plant is hot. Uh, fertilizer just practically burn the roots and so you know a couple of times a year in the cooler weather. Thank you so much Shelly. We've had some gardening tips for whether you're doing cactus gardening. You can check out our website www.shakeandgrow.com for more gardening tips. Thank you.